good afternoon everybody we're in the Cairngorms we're following this river here into camp I've had to uh, put the wind slayer on because I can't get the trackie to, to synchronize with this GoPro it might be okay with the GoPro 11 whoops watch the <laughs> watch stones so I think <laughs> which way are you gonna cross over there? Well, the there yeah that's what I was thinking the path is kind of like was going along there then it's just disappeared down that uh down that bank so we're having to because let's just <laughs> find find the water so we're going to cross here well, i figured out why tentacle sync didn't work gopro updated the software so i needed to update it did that when i got home thanks gopro well, there's a little bit of rain but not too much but we've got a small rainbow over there we're gonna i think we're following this valley around and then we're probably going to be i'm guessing camping and we are going to camp are we camping in the, behind this hill here somewhere underneath that rainbow right <laughs> we camped yeah. under the rainbow curves to the right and we'll go right so okay Oh, so we so we might find the pot of gold over there then. So, yeah. so the pot, so the, the rainbow is where we're going to camp. So yeah, we'll find the pot of gold under that rainbow. So that's approximately where we're going to camp. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can find somewhere and it's a bit more camp friendly than oh, all this stuff. <laughs> we'll find somewhere. Yeah. I mean, we can, except we don't want to stop soon. I mean, if you look down here. Yeah. That's there's. Scary. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere here. Yeah. But, no, we'll see if we yes. get we'll find somewhere where we intended over there we couldn't find anything in the forest so we went a bit further probably boggy down there i expect mm. hopefully hopefully less boggy from what i remember it's not you know, not too bad right okay um, good pretty partly because ooh, the rainbow's getting bigger <laughs> yes partly because it's um <laughs> It's all sort of floodplain down there. Ah, right, it's okay. All areas where the river once flowed left lots of stones, like in Glenfeshie. And now the trees are growing up and the grasses and the heather are appearing. Right, but okay. But not far beneath, there's a lot of stones as well as soil, which means that the, um, you know, any water that rain drains away quickly. Yeah. So it doesn't get foggy. Okay. Wow. We yeah, have a complete rainbow. So. Well, we're just walking along this path. We've still got a path at the moment, which is taking us up this valley. We're half looking for somewhere to camp, but we haven't found anything yet. We've seen a couple of places you know way down in the river or near the river but uh oh. <laughs> it's a nice wonky bit steady as she goes um but it was you know a little a little way down and there's no guarantee that you'd you know that it would be any good so we're gonna keep walking there's some bits through there but they're probably quite boggy so it's uh it's certainly much more difficult finding places especially when there's when there's two of you and you're trying to find somewhere to uh, you know to pitch up
I'm not going to say what we're planning just in case the plans don't work out but we've got a couple of thoughts and ideas of next year with Chris so, so if you're not subscribed <laughs> it's a good time to make sure that you <laughs> comment like subscribe because we'll try and get up here you know a little bit more in the future see how it goes see what life is like at home as well than the parents but look at that up through there Well, finding somewhere to camp around here is challenging indeed. So we've done the obvious thing. The 50 year old <laughs> stays down here and the 72 year old <laughs> we've sent up just to have a look up there and just have a look if there's anything down over there. And then obviously the, the 70 year old dog <laughs> There might be something around there, but we've uh, we've kind of just stopped. There is a little area down there. The unfit, <laughs> fat, fifty-year-old's gonna just try and go down here and not fall flat on his face. And then there's there's also an area over there which is not ideal but uh you know possible and it, it's dark in about half an hour now so we've kind of been we've, we've been on and off looking for camp for the last hour and a, a half because that certainly the last hour or more Ooh. This actually, I mean, it's, I don't know how wet it is. It's quite, uh, it's wetter here. <laughs> the annoying thing is there's probably flatter bits here. Well, wow, but they're they're wetter. I don't know. It's far from ideal. I I doubt I doubt Rebel Finds has found many things up there given the speed that he's gonna toboggan down there i mean it's quite slow slopey there good evening everybody it's half past eight and we finally settled into camp we're finally settled down it took it took a little bit of finding we we found somewhere in daylight but uh, by the time we finished pitching everything, uh, daylight had daylight had departed. So I had to do the rest of the pitching you know, in the dark. But we are we are finally pitched and you know and settled down. But it's uh, it's quite quite late. Like I said, half past eight. So. And we've not done anything, we haven't done anything yet. So we're going to, what we're going to do is I think, because in the end we ended up walking about, I don't know how many kilometers it was, but it was a good 10 or 12 or something kilometers. It was, 
it was quite a few. We had planned to camp in the forest, but we had to keep going because we couldn't find anything. And <laughs> we've pitched the Durston for Chris. I borrowed it from a friend, so we've pitched it. We got it pitched for Chris just about. <laughs> it wasn't the easiest thing on this lumpy bumpy ground, but we got it pitched eventually. We've had soup and now we're going to have my own homemade spaghetti bolognese. So I've got some water on to boil. I actually don't know whether it's you know enough or or not enough or or whatever. <laughs> Almost <laughs> do with with a cap or something there, couldn't I? Anyway, so we've got homemade spaghetti bolognese with <laughs> a few veggies. So in the bottom we have got dried um, bolognese. So it's obviously the mints and everything down the bottom there. And then in the middle, there's a little bit of veggie. And then obviously quick cook pasta on the top. I don't know how much this is, but it's, I think it's quite a, quite a big portion, <laughs> quite a big portion, I think. Add it in. And that is my bolognese. It's not bad. I'll leave it soak a little bit longer. It's too hot to eat straight away, so I may as well just let it soak a little bit longer. Now this has hydrated very, very well. see that but mm, it's nice and the quick cook pasta is cooked well mm. with bolognese and and pasta hydrates very very well oh, that is so nice Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 